Okay, guys, we got this Nissan NV200. Um, I don't know what year this is. Let's see. Try to see what, what year it is. 14. So it's a 14. And it sets this P0340. And they said when it sets this code, it won't start. Or yeah, I'm guessing it won't restart or it dies. Um, I'll have to look through my notes. But I want to clear these codes real quick. Let's go back. Let's go back to engine. Cycle our key once this connects. Try to make sure that there's no uh, go limp mode or anything. Let's see. Live. Um, let's go all signals. I just want to see what our cam signal does. I'm going to let it run and warm up. They said once it warms up is when the issue happens. Um, let's see. We should have a camshaft sensor. Data pit, I would think. We just have engine speed. Guess we'll just see what happens with our engine speed. I thought we'd have more. We have intake valve timing. Just see what happens. So we'll just grab this. See what happens here. I'll let this warm up. There we go. 111.509 is the mileage on this thing. So, guys, um, I shut the truck off, or the thing now is warmed up. Crank no start, just like they said. Um, let's go back and see what the trouble codes are. And we had RPM. Let's see if this comes back. Huh, so we do get our cam code. I, I popped the hood on this. This thing was a pain in the top. So this should be our cam sensor. Looks like our clip is broken. Let's uh, scope this thing and see what happens. Can we wiggle it? See. So the clip's all broken. Maybe we can scope this quick if we don't get a signal out of it. Okay, I'm gonna scope it quick. Let me grab this snap one. Okay, so I probed into the red wire. We got five volts on that. Let's see. It's the black. One of these is gonna be ground. So we got five volts on the black right there. And blue. Wow. So we have five volts on each one of these. It's black. It's five volts. Interesting. Red is five volts. Wait. There you go. Red is five volts. Let's unplug this and check this. So our first pin, five volts. Second pin, uh, I can't get on this too well. There we go. So our middle pin right there is nothing now. And then our last one is five volts. So we need to look up a wiring diagram. I'm wondering if this middle one's supposed to be ground and for some reason we have no ground when hot. Could we have no ground? Could our ground just be bad? Let's see. Let's 
Yeah, we have five volts on the black, so we need to figure out what black is. Okay, guys, so we're losing our center ground right here. So black, according to the diagram right here, black is supposed to be our center ground. See, it comes up because the sensor ground. So we need to figure out where our powers and grounds are as we're losing our sensor ground. Which is interesting. So we got three grounds, ECM. Goes to the left rear engine compartment. 108, 109, and 112. Is that our only grounds? Looks like that's our only grounds according to this diagram. Because there's no grounds on this one. Okay. So we'll check our grounds. Maybe we got a wiring issue too. Okay guys, so I connected my test light to center ground. I wanted to see if the test light lights. But I don't think it lights. Oops. So uh I think that uh, we're just going to have to continue this tomorrow because it's getting late. So I think tomorrow we'll start fresh, come down here and we'll do this. But we're losing our ground. Guys, we're back with the uh, Nissan here. Um, I don't know what changed. Like, it wouldn't start when I came here. I had cam sensor code. So I'll show you guys what I did. Put my yellow trace up on the ignition coil. Got it connected up here. Let me just change this view here and give you guys a little better view layout. So there we go. We got our hump right there. I don't know, uh, maybe this view ain't the best setup view layout. Let's go back to one. Okay, so there's my yellow trace. You can see that's our ignition coil control. That's the control. So I'll show you guys our injector. Here's our injector. Actually, we can probably make the voltage higher. There we go. Here's our injector, 50 volts. You see it spiking up. That's our injector right there. I think that's four. And then the green, or I'm sorry, blue, which is down here flat line. That is our ground, which I'm grounding right now with my test light. And then the red wire is our signal wire from our camshaft sensor. So if I come over here, watch this. Well, press recodes. We have nothing, okay? And this car, we can shut it off. And it's been running for like half an hour. Usually it starts back up. Okay, now we're not gonna start. We might be making a bad contact. Let's see if we got a cam sensor code, no code. Huh. That's weird, because I just shut it off a couple times. Sorry, back up. Let's look see what's going on up here. Uh, let's put this back in. Let's see if that makes a difference. Maybe that slid out. That's weird that it's not starting. Okay, because that's not what I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you guys the fact that my signal was there. I should have showed you guys that first. Let me see, let's make sure that everything's here while we're cranking. My ground's lifting up, did you see that? My ground was elevated. There we go. So my test light's not a good enough ground right now. You can see our patterns there, okay? So our ground was elevating. So that means it's pulling more than what it needed to through my test light. More than what my test light could do. So if I unplug my test light, watch what happens to our camshaft sensor. Let me wipe this off real quick. There we go. So if I unplug this, watch my watch the red trace and the blue one. 
See they came up. So so it's unplugged. No signal. Plug it back in. Boom. Now we got a signal. So I gotta follow. I'm gonna have to get to our our computer. And let's try this again. See our ground, our blue trace comes up there sometimes. I think that's causing our issue in our waveform. Yeah. Um, I'll show you guys our. We're gonna have to get to our PCM. I bet you if I grounded it would work, but if we look at this right here. Our cam sensor is down here. Oops, there's our cam sensor. And if you look, our power supply right here, our position, which we're on, and then our sensor ground. So we gotta get to pin 63. And it says it's on the F11 connector. So we want 63, which is this one right here. It's gonna be blue. So we're gonna have to get to that. I gotta figure out which one's brown. Here's our ECU right here, so I gotta figure out which one's which. I'm gonna do that and then we'll come back. Hey guys, so I got my electronic short detector out. Um, Cause when we added power up there, or ground up there, it didn't affect it, so we had to have a broken wire. So if I come over here, you can see it beeps. And that, but not down here. And like sometimes, oh, this might be beeping cause of my lead because of my lead I don't know sometimes it sometimes it beeps sometimes it doesn't and like if I move this see look it's not beeping right now sometimes if I move this it'll start beeping so I'm gonna look in there for a broken wire if I come to the other side you'll see it'll beep a lot faster so this seems all intact here and I can follow it down here so I think our issue is going to be on I think our issue is on uh, this side look at this guys got the harness open bam broken wire you guys can see that right there. So I'm gonna quick jumper those wires and we'll see if it makes a difference. Look at this, we got our lab scope connected there to ground. Comes up, blue trace going into there. Signal generator's on, our ETC 3000. It actually generates a signal that the receiver picks up. Going right there to our PCM. There's our signal. We disconnect it from here. Signal drops out, connect it back up, boom, signal comes back. Same here, disconnect it here, drops way down. Because you get noise from the air from open circuit. Connect it back up. So yeah, look at that. So I think once we uh, fix this wire, it's gonna fix our problem. Okay guys, so I got it all back together. Um, got my test light connected the battery positive right here. See if I touch the ground, lights up. Let's go over here to our ground for our, for our camp chest and look at that. Lights up. Look we'll at our waveform. Waveform does not move. Is lit up. Not moving. I touch it on and off there. Nothing. So that is awesome. So I'm going to let this run here for a little bit. Let's look at our ground. Our ground's the blue one. Look at that. Our ground doesn't even budge. So I'm going to clean all this up and uh, see what happens here. I think it's fixed. Guys, car's running. Got everything uh, put away. We're going to set this up here in the dash. I just had to put the air box thing back in and then I think we're done. Um, so we got our lab scope up there. Let's shut it off. Take our key in. Look at that. Boom. Shut it off. Look at that. Works perfectly now. 
That's all it was, background. Wire was broke. Scan for codes. Nothing. Look at that. So, I hope you guys like this one. It's kind of interesting. I don't know, like, because they said this was happening before the guy had the motor replaced. They replaced the motor and it's still happening, so I just thought that was kind of interesting that it was broken in there. See you guys later.